Hello. Well, anyone who's seen my channel for any amount of time now will have noticed that I actually think the beta format was slightly better than VHS. But today I'm going to show you a defect on the beta format. And I'm using my words carefully here. I'm saying beta, not beta max, because it applies to the whole beta format. So here we have a domestic beta, beta max if you like, tape. It's not in very good condition, but it does work. And we're going to play it on the Sanyo beta video recorder that I was working on a little while ago and you'll have seen my rather long video on that and though the tapes in pretty poor condition you'll get a perfectly good picture out of it okay now let me uh, make a change and you'll see how it plays let's do this secretly off screen same tape What a mess. There's bits of picture in there somewhere, but nah. There's something terribly wrong here. So can you guess what it is? Well, if you know beta, you may know this problem already. There's a guide inside the lid here. And there's a hazard that the guide can finish up on the wrong side of the tape. So can you see there? This guide here is supposed to be behind the tape, not in front of it. That's where it should be. But there's a hazard that if a machine has poor rewind or take up torque, it could leave a spool of tape on the wrong side of that guide. This is much more likely to happen with a badly maintained domestic Betamax machine than it is with a professional uh, beta cam. Now let me tell you, beta max morphed into beta cam. This is beta cam SP, uh, uses a metal tape formulation, but the cassette shell is exactly the same as beta max. And there was an earlier version uh, of beta cam which used oxide tapes exactly the same as beta max tapes for a very good reason because they were interchangeable. If you couldn't find a, a spare tape to make a recording on, you could just nip into a shop and buy a Betamax tape. Now, analog Betacam SP morphed some more to digital Betacam. So all the way through from the late 80s through the 90s into the noughties, if you were watching domestic TV, you were very likely watching a beta tape digital beta cam probably but actually beta carried on and morphed into HD cam but before I show you that have a look at this this is a beta tape too and it fits in the same machine as that this is also digital beta cam but it's a large format for longer recordings same machine would accept both now this is a little bit trickier to open but look there's exactly the same tape guide so it's potentially capable of making the same mistake, although professional decks are much less likely to have a, a failure that causes tape slack like that. And onto HD cam. This is a large HD cam tape, but again, they made small ones in Betamax size. And of course, exactly the same guide in there. Now, I'm a great believer in beta as a format it should have succeeded better than it did although you could argue that Sony probably made more money out of beta than anybody ever did out of VHS but there was an attempt at making uh, something professional from VHS so here's a domestic VHS tape you've seen these before of course but the uh, tape has no opportunity to get behind any guides there and the same is true of professional version of uh, the VHS tape called M2 Again, no opportunity for the tape to go the wrong side. These two tapes actually, there's very little interoperability between these. One or two um, M2 format machines were capable of playing Super VHS tapes, which of course are the same size as regular VHS. But that's about as far as interoperability went for the M2 format. This failed miserably. Betacam SP was far more successful.
Of course, there's another format we shouldn't ignore while we're here, and that's uh, V2000 from Philips. And this was the double-sided cassette. You've probably seen videos on this before. I've done some. Uh, again, there's no opportunity for the tape to go on the wrong side of this guide. And this one, it moves up and down with this uh, plastic spring-loaded mechanism. So there we have it, a small design flaw in the beta format. I hope you've enjoyed watching this short video. Uh, please do remember to like, share and especially subscribe and I'll do more uh, content on audio and video technology in the near future. Bye for now. Thank you.